Tens of millions of people around the world play Minecraft every day. And so we have an entire generation of young people who are familiar with Minecraft, who know how to build with Minecraft already. So of course we should be asking them to imagine the future of their city. So Exeter is a city in the southwest of England. We're in Devon. In many ways, it is the kind of the gateway to the southwest, the kind of the central city of the southwest. It starts off with the Romans invading, needing a really important strategic point um, in the southwest. They choose Exeter, but all the way through England's history, Exeter has been there. Whether it's been the wool trade being a really important international port, then a kind of banking and speculation center. Um, so it's always been there as an important city. We are running a project called the Exeter 2025 Minecraft Challenge and the goal is to engage young people in urban planning and to give them an opportunity for their ideas to be included in our innovation process in the city. In a few minutes, 20 students are going to come into this computer lab and sit down in their teams. They'll start on paper designing ideas and prototypes for this future city centre of Exeter and then they'll move into Minecraft Education Edition. And that's where they'll bring their ideas from paper into the digital world of Minecraft. And we'll see all of these amazing solutions come to life. Hey everybody, uh, my name's Mark. I'm from Exeter City Futures. We believe that by using Minecraft as a tool to sort of plan the future of our city, we can give everybody like yourselves a say in the future. It's, it's really key to recognise that the students that we have today are going to be our workers of the future and I think that that's really is, is why we should put a lot of effort into trying to support and develop them as they go through the college. And what I love about uh, younger kids doing these, these kinds of programmes is just, just how they throw all the boundaries away and just think about, well actually wouldn't it be cool if we did this or what if we could just do this and, and that freedom of thought and that creativity I think could be so powerful to, to bring into solving our problems. So we've decided to make like an underground cycle path because overhead we've decided to make the city centre um, more of like a nature path so it's more like eco-friendly without all like the cars and stuff. Well it's great because the only limits you have is your imagination. In you know, Minecraft you can do whatever you want, however you want it. Minecraft is a great tool for urban planning because it allows us to redesign places. So you can walk around and you can navigate and you can experiment. These things are very expensive and they're not feasible to do in the real world, but in Minecraft you can do it for free and in an afternoon. Minecraft is a great place to get started when you have an idea. You can start with a completely you know, empty canvas and start building block by block. It's such an easy like, thing to use and you can make anything on there really, that's the idea. For us Exeter City Futures Minecraft 2025 challenge allows us to uh, empower our students with a voice, it allows them to take those ideas that they have had out into the community, to see their work being um, passed around, to be shared, to be collaborated upon. I think Exeter is unique in some ways. You know, it is a historic city, it is growing really fast, but the challenges it faces with affordable housing and social housing and dealing with traffic and congestion, I think if we can solve them here, we can share that with, with every other city that's struggling the same. Exeter is full of historic buildings. How do you keep the city developing but also respecting that heritage. And it's a heritage that people love. People love those old buildings. How do we think about the relationship between the old and the new? And maybe modelling that in Minecraft is one way to do it. I don't think we can just dictate that the city needs to look like this. And I think there are so many tools and, and opportunities and ways now to involve everybody in thinking about what it is that they want. And Minecraft is just a great way of exploring that without tearing down too many buildings and too many walls. <laughs>